relearn astonishment. All things one has forgotten scream for help in dreams. His head is made of stars, but not yet arranged into constellations. Understanding, as we understand it, is misunderstanding. I want to keep smashing myself until I am whole. Death is a scandal. The machine is functioning. We are all hostages. One lives in the naive notion that later there will be more room than in the entire past. The process of writing has something infinite about it. Even though it is interrupted each night, it is one single notation. And it seems most true when it is choose artistic devices of any sort. Most religions do not make men better, only warier. The act of naming is the great and solemn consolation of mankind. What a man touched upon, he should take with him. If he forgot it, he should be reminded. You draw closer to truth by shutting yourself off from mankind. It is only in a crowd that man can become free of this fear of being touched. That is the only situation in which the fear changes into its opposite. The hand which scoops up the water is the first vessel. The fingers of both hands intertwined are the first basket. Whenever you observe an animal closely, you feel as if a human being sitting inside were making fun of you. Explain nothing. Put it there. Say it. Leave. When you write down your life, every page should contain something no one has ever heard about. Learning is the art of ignoring. There is nothing that man fears more than the touch of the unknown. Speak as though it were the last sentence allowed you. It is important to say all the great thoughts again, without knowing that they have already been said. The first effect of adjusting to other people is that one becomes boring. Every decision is liberating, even if it leads to disaster. It doesn't matter how new an idea is. What matters is how new it becomes. Of all the words in all languages I know, the greatest concentration is in the English word. I. There is no doubt. The study of man is just beginning, at the same time that his end is in sight. Rulers who want to unleash war know very well that they must procure or invent a first victim. Beauty always has something remote. History portrays everything as if it could not have come otherwise. History is on the side of what happened. One should not confuse the craving for life with endorsement of it. Justice requires that everyone should have enough to eat. 
but it also requires that everyone should contribute to the production of food. As if one could know the good a person is capable of, when one doesn't know the bad he might do. The self-explorer, whether he wants to or not, becomes the explorer of everything else.